let's jump in. Uh, ben & Jerry, Ben & Jerry Ice Cream. Uh, you know, Ben & Jerry Ice Cream, they're owned by Unilever, the European uh, company that owns a lot of different brands. You probably don't know Unilever, but you know a lot of the brands that they own, food and other household items and, and so on. They're, they're massive, a little bit like Procter & Gamble uh, is in the sense of the diverse um, uh, products that they sell. Well, Ben & Jerry uh, is the ice cream out of Vermont, and I don't know how many of you know, but Ben & Jerry have been uh, committed hippies, leftists, for way back, way back. Um, uh, we're talking about um, we're talking about the 1990s. I remember Ben and Jerry. Ben and Jerry were way leftist back then. They're still way leftist. Uh, and but and on the Fourth of July, they did what Ben and Jerry do. No, nothing here surprises. They they wrote the Fourth of July. It's uh, this Fourth of July. It's high time we recognize that the U.S. exists on stolen indigenous land and commit to returning it. Learn more and take action now, and they give you a link to uh, a Ben & Jerry website that basically uh, articulates the story of the different indigenous uh, people, and they particularly highlight the Mount Rushmore, uh, where we've got the, the, the statues of four presidents, and they say, you know, this belonged to the, to, to the, to the uh, you know, Tunka Sali Skapi, whatever, the six grandfathers, uh, Sioux Nation, and we should be returning it to them. Uh, so they are, they are generally, um, and then, uh, of course, uh, you know, I, I saw some posts saying, hey, Ben and Jerry, are you, are you returning some of your stores that are on, on uh, uh, so-called native land or, or the factory in Vermont, which is on so-called native land? Um, you, you know, so they, they make a big deal out of the back hills and about, uh, and they, they, you know, they keep, so the whole story is really about uh, Mount Rushmore. But generally, give back the land. Give back the land. Um, and, of course, Ryan Wee Media went apoplectic, and um, they've announced a boycott of Ben & Jerry, and uh, Unilever stock, as of this morning, is down significantly, which I don't, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it, but it's down significantly. Because this is, uh, as, as the right-wing media has defined it, this is Ben & Jerry's Bud Light moment. This is Bud Light, and we're going to see now Ben & Jerry's sales tank, and we're going uh, to see Unilever stock tank, and so on. And I actually don't think so. Um, I, I think this is way overplayed in terms of the stock price and even the boycott of Ben & Jerry. The reality is, and, and it tells you a lot about the right, I think, the reality is I've been boycotting Ben & Jerry, literally. I mean, they have delicious ice cream. I've been boycotting Ben & Jerry since the mid-1990s. They were crazy leftist socialist advocating for horrible policies. They would regularly be interviewed on TV. They were CEOs, and therefore they got some prestige from that, and therefore people took them seriously. And I said, I'm not giving these bastards money because... because they're advocating for philosophy and ideology that I oppose, and this is the brand. The brand is affiliated, associated with the left, the worst elements within the left. And then, if you, if you, and then when they sold to Unilever, I said, "Ooh, maybe now I can buy uh, Ben and Jerry ice cream." But then Unilever basically uh, established uh, a, a special board for Ben and Jerry to maintain their kind of corporate culture and to maintain their advocacy and their their continued, uh, you know, leftist agenda and policy. So I basically have not eaten Ben & Jerry since, um, uh, uh, since the mid-1990s. And yes, their ice cream, I think, does taste good, although I don't eat ice cream anymore. Anyway, it, it's probably way too sweet for me, but, but yeah, I'm sure it, at the time, it was definitely a, a good-tasting ice cream. But you know what? There are lots of good-tasting ice creams. There's no shortage in great ice cream in America. You don't have to buy Ben & Jerry. And everybody's known they are crazy leftists from way back, from, from, you know, decades ago, 90s, right? 30 years ago. So what did they say here? They set a standard leftist line about indigenous people and about their land and we stole their land. All right. 
Um, is this going to, is, is this change my assessment on Ben and Jerry? No. I mean, this is no different than anything else they've said in the past. They, they hate capitalism. They hate Israel. They hate everything. They, 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 they are they're, they're very woke. They're pro-woke. They've always been politically correct when politically correct was the term. So, yeah, and they set him for the July, which is par for the course for them. I mean, they used to come on television in the 90s a lot, just slamming markets and capitalism and, and, uh, and CEO pay and uh, everything about corporations. So my view is they've always been left. If somebody pe suddenly people have woken up because it was the Fourth of July. Give me a break. So I, that's why I don't think I don't think this is going to be the issue. Now, if, if Ben and Jerry had said something pro trans or pro LGBTQ plus, which I'm sure they hold, they have those views, and made a big deal out of it, then I think the boycott would hold because I think the boycott is primarily driven not by these crazy leftists, not even by woke stuff. I think it's really driven by LGBTQ. That's why the successful ones are being uh, Bud Light and Target because of their LGBTQ stuff, which I thought was pretty lame. Here's a company. Here's, a, here's how lame the right is. Here's a company that has dedicated all of its energy towards radical, leftist, crazy ideas for 30 years. And the right's like, blah, who cares? Oh, now, now they suddenly wake up, but I don't think it's going to have any impact. Yeah, they have had rainbow flair, flavors, the huge pride and everything, but their whole corporate shtick is crazy left from the beginning. And the right has ignored them, basically, is Nobody's boycotted them. I'm, I'm sure all these TV hosts, they all eat Ben & Jerry ice cream because it tastes good. But one little thing that Bud Light does with, with uh, uh, Mulvaney or whatever his name is, uh, a trans person or, or, or Target adding some stuff, it is so, so, so obviously LGBTQ is freaking the right out. And it's a leverage point, and it is their thing. And um, that's why I don't think this will have an impact because this is too generic left. This is too, they've always been like this. And again, I've been boycotting because I do believe in boycotting companies that, are, that, that commit their profits to a social ideology. I mean, an extensive social ideology that, that I'm opposed. I, I wouldn't be boycotting Bud, Bud Light other than the BS sucks. And, and I, I don't boycott Target because I, the corporation is not dedicated to ideology, dedicated to an ideology I'm opposed to. Ben and Jerry's whole, all their profits, or a significant portion of the profits, are dedicated to promoting ideology that I oppose from beginning to end. And um, I boycotted them, and I think you should too, and I think everybody should. I don't think this is going to have as much oomph on the right as uh, targeted and Bud Light because it, it doesn't have that trigger. The trigger is what? LGBTQ issues. It, it's, it's the same. If you watch my talk at Ocon, it's, it's what Putin knows, right? Putin knows that the right in America is obsessed by this issue. So in every single speech, he talks about the decadent right. How is the decadent because of gays and because of LGBTQ stuff? And, the, and, and to a large extent, the American right supports Putin because, hey, he's on our side on, on the most important issue of the day, most important issue in the world today, which is LBGTQ. And because of that, because I, I, I should have ordered the topics differently. So, so because that is, um, uh, because I, I, you know, we, we, we talked about that, let's, let's put DeSantis, let's get DeSantis, we'll skip him ahead a little bit. Um, so anyway, that's Ben and Jerry.